In this video, I will show you how to use the Clownfish voice changer. And if this video does help you out today, please consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like on the video, and also subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. And with that being said, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So as you can see, I've got a internet browser open and what you want to do is come across to the official Clownfish website to start with. So the official website is actually Clownfish. Then you want to put a dash and then translator.com. And after this, what you want to do is put a forward slash and then you want to put voice changer to be directed directly to the voice changer page. So this is the official website for the Clownfish voice changer. So this is what you want to come to to download the Clownfish voice changer. And from here, what you want to do is come up to the top of the page and you want to click on to download up here and you'll see what's going to happen. You're going to be presented for some different options to download this. Now, the one you want to click on is this one, which says download 64 bits. So you want to give this a click and that's going to start downloading like so. Because I'm using Google Chrome, the download comes up here, but if you're using a different browser or if it doesn't come up like mine, all you need to do is simply come down to the bottom left hand corner, go ahead and click onto the search box down here. And in here, all you want to do is type downloads, which is going to bring up your downloads folder. So you can just click onto this, open it, and you'll find the clownfish in there. So once that's downloaded, what you're going to want to do is just simply click onto the file. And what that's going to do is start the setup wizard. So what you want to do from here is just go through and click through on this startup wizard like so. And you can just click next and it's going to go through and basically start installing. Now, what's going to happen when you actually start installing, you'll see a little pop up come out that says about the Windows um, audio service stopping. You might have noticed it, noticed it there when it was installing. Don't worry about this because all it does, it has to stop the audio service and restart it to make sure that the Clownfish is configured correctly. So once that's done, all you need to do is going to say complete it down here. And what you want to do is click on to next and then click finish to finish installing that program. So the next step is what we're going to do first is actually set up Clownfish so we can use this successfully on different apps like Discord or Skype or anything else like that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come down to the bottom left hand corner, click onto the search bar and then type in Clownfish. And what you're going to see when you start typing this in is under best match we have the Clownfish voice changer here. So what you want to do is go ahead and give that a click. So what's going to happen when you actually click onto Clownfish, it's not actually going to load up a program or anything like that. But what's going to happen if you come down to the bottom right hand corner, you're going to see this has actually been added to your system tray. Now, if you don't see it down here, just click this little arrow where it says show hidden icons and you will see it's in here too. Next, what you want to do is right click onto the logo and what you want to do first is come to the setup option and then you want to click onto system integration. So what this is going to do is going to basically bring up this window here and this is what we're going to use to set up our microphone. So at the moment you can see this two microphone showing on my setup. So we've got the basic one here which is the one it's defaulted to use but what I can do is change this to this one here. So Razer Syrah Mini which is my microphone I prefer to use. So what you want to do is click install on the one you want to use. So what we need to do next is we need to come down to the bottom right hand corner, click onto the logo again, right click onto the logo, and then we want to click onto set voice changer. So now this is going to bring up another window like this, and you're going to see all the effects that are currently available. And what you can do is choose any of these. So for example, if I wanted to change to this one, all you would do is give it a click and you will notice my voice has now changed. To clear any of the effects, all you need to do is come down and click the clear effect button down here. And what that's going to do is turn the voice changer off. So if you want to actually use this in any program, say for example, something like Discord, what you're going to want to do first of all is of course, open the application that you want to use it on. So I'm going to open up Discord here. And then what I'm going to do is just come over to my settings. So in the bottom left hand corner, you want to click onto your gear icon. And from here, you want to come down to the app settings on the left hand side. If you look into app settings, it should be an option called voice and video. So what you want to do is go ahead and give that a click. And then at the very top, you want to click onto the input device. And what you want to do is make sure this is very important. You want to make sure this is set to the same microphone that you just installed on Clownfish. So in my example, it was a Razer Siren Mini. So when I go ahead and do this, what that's going to do is actually set this as my default. And what you can then do is of course, come back down to the Clownfish, Right click, open the voice changer, and you can choose one of the effects to have that voice changer applied over Discord. So that's how you do it, and I hope this video did help you out today. If this tutorial did help you out, I'd really appreciate it if you were to leave a like below the video and also consider subscribing to the channel. 
With that being said, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you in the next tutorial.